Okay, I got it on. So babe, babe, listen. Do we have a lot to do today or no? Yes. We are on our way out. Limited needs wash so bad. It's really just covered in a lot of dew right now, but it just really is dusty. So we got to take the platinum today because it's time to register this truck because I finally got the title in the mail. It is cold. It is getting cold out. What is it, 40 right now? I have no idea. It it's like cold. It. And I know every time I say it's too hot or it's too cold, somebody comments, dude, it's colder where I'm from, it's hotter where I'm from. It's like, well, I don't care how hot or how cold it is where you're from. I'm just stating for where I'm at, this is a cold day right now, that's all. What's up, Loud and Proud Crowd? Hopefully, guys are doing absolutely awesome. We have a busy day today, so I'm gonna try to vlog throughout the day. We've got some stuff we wanna do with the Chevy, we got some stuff we gotta do with Nasty Red, we got some stuff we wanna do with my dad's white first gen whole bunch of stuff just going on so hopefully you can all keep up watch the video and enjoy it and uh, real quick do not forget that limited that I just showed you out there that big huge massive dually could be yours every five dollars spent on you know hats shirts hoodies keychains decals whatever it is every five dollars one entry to win last 16 days one six last 16 days to enter to win that truck don't procrastinate and sit around that five dollar coffee that you're gonna go buy or that five dollar burger at McDonald's you could be spending it on a simple entry that could win you that $80,000 truck. Just think about that before you start out your day or end out your day this afternoon. Thank you guys so much. Anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, real quick everybody, we just got out of the BMV, and yes, it's called a BMV Bureau of Motor Vehicles here in Indiana, filling out some paperwork for the title for this truck to get my title, focusing on what I was doing, but then I heard a conversation come up and it instantly grabbed my attention. This lady was sitting there because she was getting like a change of address and some other stuff or applying for a driver's license or I don't know what it was some form of identification somehow the topic came up are you registered to vote don't know how it came up but it did she said no and keep in mind this lady's probably in her what later 30s yeah she had three kids okay she's like no she said do you want to become registered to vote she said haha no I don't. And then the lady said that she was asking her the question said, well, I don't blame you. Things are going downhill these days. And first off, I'd like to object to that. Our country and our nation is in probably one of the best states it's ever been in terms of economics and all this other stuff, okay? And jobs, and like things that are important. Taxes are a little bit lower. And uh, if you're a business person, you, you understand that and you feel that and it helps you grow and to expand and go bigger. Regardless of what I think, it's like, okay, you know what, maybe you don't like who's in office, maybe you don't like the way things are going, it, it does not matter, okay? Whether I agree with her opinions or not, that should make you want to have a say in what goes down in this country even more. That should make you wanna vote even more. That should make you wanna step forward and actually fight for something that you believe in if you think somehow in your mind things are going wrong do something to make a difference what's what's your kind of like opinion on that like um i'm not gonna vote because things aren't going was, my way <laughs> first off whether like you don't you know you, you don't like who's running or you don't like who's in office you should still vote no matter what because i mean that, that's a right that we have like living in this country which most people don't get that um or don't get a say at all so i mean I feel like it's a privilege and then people are like, oh, well, I'm not gonna vote. I'm just gonna sit as a bystander because it's all gonna go down to crap anyways. Well then when come election and somebody gets chosen that you don't want chosen, I don't want to hear your butt complain that, oh, this person's not for I hate them. I don't want them like to be the president. Well, that's your fault for not voting and putting out your opinion or whatever. Like don't complain because you had the option to Vote, but you and try to make not to. Yeah, and try to make your own difference and make your opinion or it's your like, you're saying hurt. It's like I don't know. It's just I don't even know how to put it in perspective. But to me, it's like I don't know. I just feel like it's just a coward move. It is. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's just like you you can't complain who who gets in office if if you don't vote. I've even heard family. Literally, I've heard family members, family members that I don't agree with most of their opinions. They're like, oh, well, I don't freaking like that guy anyway, so I'm not even gonna vote. There's no good options anymore. It's like, dude, we have literally the best option we've ever had right in front of us. Okay. Anyway, so, it, you know what I mean? Everybody has flaws, everybody has problems, and I'm one of those people that, like, I look at the mass majority of the principles that somebody stands for. You stand for life, you stand for business, you stand for growth, you stand for, like, 
keeping people working. You stand for this, you stand for that. Like you stand for safety and like rights. Like I look at principles of a person and I go, that person has pretty good principles. Did they do some dumb stuff in their life or whatever or say some stupid stuff? Yeah, who cares? What I'm trying to say is when I hear people complaining and complaining and complaining and they're people that have literally accomplished almost nothing significant in their life and they've done almost nothing of real value and of true principle with themselves, and they complain and act as if they could do a better job themselves at running a nation and they can't even literally pick up after themselves at their own home. It's like, who are you? Like, who do you think you freaking are? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, that's just kind of my take on it when I hear people complain and complain and complain and they literally do nothing of significance on a day-to-day -day basis. It's like, shut your mouth. Or if you still have an opinion and you still want to make it heard, at least do your, like, what do you call it? Your civil duty and vote. I honestly wouldn't want them to vote, but my whole point behind that is whether you agree with me or not on like my political views or like where I stand with stuff, if you really think there's a problem, it's still your civil duty and right to try to make a difference in what you believe in. First gen time. Oh, the old Christian. Time to get this going. She's all excited because she gets to drive the platinum. Girls love them platinum boys, I'm telling you. Redhead steering box. Morgerson steering chef. We got all kinds of stuff here, boys. Here, let's get started up. Oh no. Oh, she fired. Oh my goodness. You guys gotta get an exhaust note. That thing, that thing hardly started. Holy crap. I mean, of course it started. It's a 12 hour, you know what I'm saying? She's honestly a really clean truck. It just needs fender work in the back on the bed, you know what I mean? And a new paint job, honestly, to be perfect. Enough with the cool exhaust notes. So I will go over what we're getting done to this truck, probably not in this video, I kind of listed some of the random parts sitting over here, but I'll go into more detail in the next video because this video is going to get way too long, I have other stuff that I need to film today and then I'm going to try to pick up another video here later this afternoon, but we're taking the first gen over to the house right now and then we're going to be swapping it out for the Chevy 1500. Guys, there's a truck that I have seen rolling through our town every week for like the last five years and I have never ever been able to get it and see it up close and is freaking parked right there. It's a two-tone dually first gen. It's red or like a maroon and gold. It is so clean looking, but um, the guy's right here. This thing is so, so nice. I just wish I could get a second to chat with him before he runs off. He's getting ready to take off, but look how clean that truck is. Freaking love that. I don't know what she's doing. What are you doing? Your turning signals are on. What are you doing? I'm trying to get this dash out. Are we gotta leave right now. I uh, know there's so many freaking clams on a stupid Chevy. It's ridiculous. Okay, all good. Reagan just wanted the dash ripped out so she can do some customization, so we don't have to have the dash in here. But anyways, let me tell you what what we're about to do with this truck. So, um, before anybody gets too um, too excited. Let me kind of tell you what we're doing. It does not have any kind of exhaust system on it. All it has is the factory exhaust. Let me show you what that looks like here. Factory exhaust, right? And it's got a muffler and it's got some exhaust leaks somewhere because it makes a loud, like, I don't know. Just like, it makes that sound that it makes when it has an exhaust leak on a gas truck like this. We're not going with like a Flowmaster or anything crazy like that. That's like an expensive, you know, kit that's specifically designed for a certain type of sound. All we're going to be doing with this thing is running a straight dual exhaust system. Keeping it loud, keeping it proud, and uh, just giving it some sort of sound that's other than an exhaust leak. So, we're going to get this dropped off at the shop real quick. This is the DB build. 
Looks so funny on the little stocks. <laughs> That's funny. It doesn't look good on the stocks. But the one thing that I will say, even though her truck doesn't look good on stocks, it drives way better. I will be honest there. It, uh, you can actually turn the wheel, you know, and use it. But anyway, so we're gonna get in the Chevy. We're gonna take it over there. We're gonna throw a straight pipe exhaust on it. That's gonna be done at an exhaust shop that just kind of does all that kind of stuff. It's just like an in-house. They bend the piping, throw it on the truck, all that jazz. So I won't be back with you guys with that truck until it's done. And to the audience that leaves comments regarding what we do on this channel quite often. For example, two days ago I made the video about the Chevy and how we're gonna be doing that as a budget build. There's people that are like, oh, you guys don't do build stuff. You guys only do suspension, horsepower upgrades, wheels and tires, and cosmetic stuff like lighting and stuff like that. That doesn't count as a build. What I want you guys to understand is that, first off, who defined what's considered a build or not. Like, there's kids that are in high school that do a basic lift kit, wheels and tires, and they just tint their headlights and they say that that's their build, which to them, that's what they consider a build. That's what they wanted to do. That's what they consider their aftermarket touch, like and what they wanted to do with it. To be fair, there is no classification of what's considered a build or a project other than what you make it. In terms of build stuff though, we are gonna try to do some more involving stuff, some stuff that's more of like drastic change, but we're still gonna do stuff with the newer trucks that we can't really do a whole lot of, you know, deletes and tunes and stuff like that anymore, but we are still gonna do some cool stuff. We're gonna have some new and some old, and I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. Why are you recording me? Because you're cute. No, it's annoying. Stop. <laughs> okay, but anyways guys, um, we are dropping the truck off at Fair Muffler in Fort Wayne. There's a bunch of them, but anyways, just dropping it off for the straight pipe fuel exhaust system. It's pretty simple, pretty cheap, and uh, they're just gonna throw on a shop homemade kit. And I've had them done here before when I had my old Chevy, and then uh, we should be able to pick it up a little later today. So right now, we're actually on one of the bumpiest roads in Fort Wayne, Indiana, aren't we, Reagan? Everything's creaking, bouncing, everything. But Reagan here is going to be getting a quote at the paint shop to see roughly what it's gonna cost her to do paint and rust repair on this truck. There's not much, but there's just a couple little things and she can't stand the little flaws. So she wants to get it checked out and see what the quote's gonna be to get it fixed once she is ready to do that. That's where we're headed right now. We're gonna get a paint and body quote on this truck. If you wanna see the full details, go to her channel. We are on our way to check out a 12 valve Cummins with a five suit manual with only 124,000 miles. It's on the exact same lot that sold me the silver dually back when I bought that. And very similar price range. Now, you have to keep in mind, this truck, paint is pretty much shot completely, the entire truck, paint shot. Um, and it does have some flaws here and there, bumper flaws, paint flaws, stuff like that. But I've been listening to your guys' comments about wanting to see another 12 valve, and I kind of thought, you know, I want to do a regular cap five speed. And I've been looking for a few weeks, and this one popped up. And uh, price is kind of high right now, but he said he's willing to work with me since, you know, I look on his site all the time. I bought a truck or two from him. My dad's bought a truck from him. You know, we're, we're pretty much regulars looking on his lot for stuff. And if he has a truck, we try to go to him first. So we're gonna go check it out. And then uh, hopefully we can get a good look at this truck and see if it's something that we would be interested in. Well, there's the truck we're looking at. And I know it looks kind of rough. I know it's not pretty looking, but, but let me just tell you what. If I decide to go with this truck, I feel like it does have a lot of potential to be something amazing and maybe that's just me going crazy but i think this truck truly has something that could make it extremely extremely cool for anybody that thought i was joking about building this chevy tons of stuff just showed up limited is filthy as you can see super super dusty dirty nasty so i'm going to be washing this real quick possibly washing the platinum and then after that we should be able to go pick up the Chevy 1500 from the exhaust shop. Well, it has been a busy day. I did get the limited all clean. Actually, let me show you that real quick. Oh, shiny. Looks like glass. Good to go. Well, everybody, we got the old blue lightning back. 
in all of her glory. The bed is filled with parts, kind of hiding them with this pallet. But there are tires, there are lighting accessories, there are suspension work, all kinds of stuff. So we've got the exhaust put on here. It's fanned out to both sides. There's one there. And there's another part of the exhaust right there coming out. And I actually have not looked under here yet to see how they did this. But we're gonna see how they did it under here. Here apparently is where they cut it and welded it and then they sprayed it with some Rust-Oleum paint. Here, just put a wide pipe, that's all. And back over here and bent the pipe all up and all that jazz. The truck's actually not too bad under here. It's a little scaly in some spots, but integrity wise, it's it's pretty freaking solid. Cab mounts are solid, bed mounts are solid. I mean, it's solid, it's flaky, but it's it's real solid. So I'm gonna start the truck up. I'm gonna pull it forward a little bit so that it's not the weird lighting with the sunlight on the bed. But this is what she sounds like. Nothing crazy, but I'll tell you what, when I was 15, if I heard that coming down the road, I would think I was in heaven. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a straight pipe Chevy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's, it's either two or two and a half inch piping. Not 100% on that. I think it's two and a half inch, but I'm not positive. But yeah, so we're gonna get this truck. We're gonna park in the shop so it doesn't get all rained all over. Reagan's gonna be doing some stuff for the interior work on this. And let me know what you guys think of the 12 out that I looked at today. I know it's rough. I know it needs like some work, but I think it could be a really solid like winter project to just strip everything down, start from scratch and get a perfectly built truck by the end of everything with 120,000 miles on it. So anyways guys, let me know what you guys think down below of this truck on the way, tons of stuff in the bed. This thing's about to get the works. Well, give me a thumbs up if you guys are excited for that. Comment down below. Don't forget to enter to win the 2019 Ram 3500 Limited over here. Anyways guys, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.